Hello friend, welcome to my channel Knowledge of IOTX. Today, we will discuss on tools introduction of Adobe Photoshop CC. At first, open the Adobe Photoshop. Yes, this is Photoshop Windows screen, where you can create a new project and working on it. So, let's introduce with all the section of this window screen. This is menu bar, you can select any action from this menu. Second line is the option bar, for customize any tools action. Third, it's very important for the Photoshop, because of mostly user use of this action for live working, this section name is Tools Activity. Now, this section name is Color Panel, where you can choose any color for your project file. Layer Panel, of Adobe Photoshop. You can place elements on separate layers, yet show them together to create a combination image or composite. You can also add, delete, or rearrange layers for using this panel. Style Layer Before starting our tools introduction in Adobe Photoshop, we presented at a glance all the tools overview for your more understanding. So, let's see this tool in Adobe Photoshop. The Move tool, is used to move layers, selections, and guides within a Photoshop document. The Marquee tool, draws rectangular, elliptical, and line selection outlines. Press and hold shift as you drag to draw a square selection. Lasso tool. With the lasso tool you can draw a freeform selection outline around an object. The quick selection tool, lets you easily select an object, simply by painting over it with a brush. Enable auto enhance in the options bar for better quality selections. Crop tool. Use the crop tool in Photoshop to crop an image and remove unwanted areas. Uncheck delete crop pixels in the options bar to crop an image non-destructively. Measurement tools. In this category existing all the tools are used for measurement collection. Like, color sample tool, that used for color value display for the selected area. Touching and painting tools. In this category all the action are used for different action, for any element retouch or paint work. Example. The spot healing brush. It used for Photoshop quickly removes blemishes, and other minor problem areas in an image. Brush tool. The brush tool is Photoshop's primary painting tool. Use it to paint brush strokes on a layer or on a layer mask. The clone stamp tool, it is the most basic of Photoshop's retouching tools. It samples pixels, from one area of the image, and paints them, over pixels in another area. Brush tool, in this category, the history brush tool paints a snapshot, from an earlier step into the current version, of the image. Choose the previous state, from the history panel. Eraser tool, the eraser tool in Photoshop, 
permanently erases pixels on a layer. It can also be used to paint, in a previous history state. In this paint tool category, the gradient tool, and the bucket paint tools is the mostly used tools in Photoshop. Photoshop's gradient tool draws, gradual blends between multiple colors. And the paint bucket tool fills an area, of similar color with your foreground color or a pattern. In this category activities are, the blur tool, blurs and softens areas you paint over with the tool. And the sharpen tool, sharpens areas you paint over. Now, the dodge tool, paint over areas in the image with the dodge tool to lighten them. Burn tool, the burn tool will darken the areas you paint over. Sponge tool, paint over areas with the sponge tool, to increase or decrease color saturation. Drawing and type tools, first, the pen tool. Photoshop's pen tool allows you to draw extremely precise paths, vector shapes, or selections. And the freeform pen tool, it allows you to draw freehand paths, or shapes. Anchor points are automatically added, to the path as you draw. Others tools are used for acre at, delete activities. This is the type tool, first, the horizontal type tool, known simply as the type tool, in Photoshop, use the horizontal type tool to add standard type, to your document. And the vertical type tool, it adds type vertically from top to bottom. The selection tool, use the path selection tool, in Photoshop to select, and move an entire path at once and the direct selection tool, this tool to select, and move an individual path segment, anchor point, or direction handle. Vector tool, in this category existing is, rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, line tool, and the last custom shape tool. You can choose from Photoshop's built-in custom shapes or create your own vector design. You can choose any built-in shape vector, from this store. Hand tool, the hand tool lets us click, and drag an image around on the screen, to view different areas when zoomed in. Zoom tool, click on the image with the zoom tool, to zoom in on a specific area. It's color setting option, you can choose foreground color, and the background color using this option. Now, we will see, how to crop up this file, and save to the PNG format. After choose your cropping area, press to the enter button. Now, click to the file menu, and after that click on save for web, for save this file. This is the format selection tab, sorry, we convert to JPG format of this file. Save, and choose to the location, where you want to save this file. Yes, the file saved into the JPG format. Thanks for watching this video. 
if you enjoyed it, then kindly subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for getting more update. Thank you, have a nice day.